So today, Brixton and I are gonna go to the swap meet, <clears throat> look for some stuff. We're also gonna update you guys on the game room. A lot of people have been asking about it, like yeah. what's in it, what's in there, is there arcades, is there toys, is yeah. there whatnot, yeah. so. Well, uh, but first we're gonna go to the swap meet. Ricky went this morning and didn't tell me, gosh. Well, I have nothing to say. We're here. It's time to dive in. Me, me. What the? It's beyond crowded today. I don't know what's going on. It took us forever to find parking, which it never does. I know it's nine o'clock and normally we don't go this late, but we decided to go last minute. So I, I'll never come at this time again. Let's see if we find anything. Let's go. I feel like this would come in handy if I was a Barbie collector. It's like the whole encyclopedia of collecting Barbie. And yes, at the next booth, Mortal Kombat, Super Nintendo, a bunch of little booklets. Oh boy. So I just asked how much for this 11. It's 11 from season two. I've been kind of displaying these in my, ga my game room and five bucks. So I'm gonna do this one for five bucks, but I think they have some more that I want to check out. Wow! Let's see. Aha, speaking of, there's Will, which I don't have Will. Promise? I haven't seen this plug and play in the box before. Pretty cool. I like the, the look of it a lot more than like the At Games one. Mousetrap for the Intellivision, Carnival, which is cool to see it say by Sega down there. And Pinball. So Bricks and I ended up getting Will and Eleven from Stranger Things, both for 10 bucks. That's a good deal because I almost bought Will the other day for $13. So 10 bucks for both of these. I'm excited, I'm hyped. It's not my, my season two, 11. Definitely not my favorite season of Stranger Things. I, 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 beep, 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 beep. What do you see, buddy? I see Nerf guns and I really love Nerf guns in this game. You are all about Nerf guns. You and your buddies, everybody having Nerf battles. It's, it's Nerf, Nerf or nothing. nothing. Hey Bricks, you know what that is? Nerf. Yeah! Gotta keep an eye out. Some turtles, a splinter. It's 90s, 90s, 1999, 1999 Splinter. Lots of figures everywhere. Gotta buy them figures. Gotta buy them figures. I know my figures. So I'm here looking in this place still, and I found a Splinter from 99, a, a Foot Clan soldier from I think 92, and then a Shredder from 2012. Let me see, Brixton, am I gonna get a good deal? Maybe. So I ended up getting the 1999 Splinter in 92. Foot Clan soldier. I didn't really care about the shredder as much, if I'm honest. And, and Brixton got this big Nerf gun. Not gonna lie, for five bucks, that's not bad. A lot of times people try to overcharge for Nerf. So, Brixton, nice. The Wolverine and Nightcrawler and Jean Grey. They come with the comic too. I've never seen these. Again, I'm not a big comic guy. I'm not even that really big of a superhero guy. No, Homer's broken. I wanted him. I wanted him so bad. Rock Band 2, one buck for the Wii. It's complete, it has everything, it's clean. I don't have it. I don't even have the Rock Band stuff yet, but for a buck, you know. She said five, I said four, say no more. Me and my dad just picked up this um, Wii remotes and you can plug into um, one of your Wii remotes so you can play as this one and it's really cool. Classic. I don't know why I'm so happy about this right now. I already have one, but I always get excited to pick up these. I don't know why. It's a weird thing. It's not even a big deal. But I'm happy I got the four bucks. Home Alone laser disc. I still think this is like the best Christmas movie ever. Yeah. But I heard they're making a new one. And I, I, I don't yeah. I, I don't want it to mess it. It's too classic. No, yeah. Some movies, some things are better kept in the past. Yeah, some things we can keep yeah. in the past. I think I'll take this. I keep seeing too many things cool back to back. Look at this G.I. Joe action soldier and lunchbox right next to the Rocky soundtrack. Brixton, there's just too much cool stuff. There's cool stuff everywhere. In the wild. Not too often. I haven't mentioned that I don't even have a laser disc player, but I did get this at that one guy's booth a while back, but I keep meaning to mention that. 
I need to buy a laser disc. So any um, help, any good uh, words of advice or words of wisdom in the comments would be helpful. Where do I buy a laser disc? Like, how much are they kind of worth? I don't know. I haven't looked. I haven't even looked on eBay or anything. Like that. Actually, I've never bought anything on eBay in my life. Brixton was just walking, and some guy was like, "Hey, look, look what's on the floor, and look what it was, Brix." Stop down screaming out, money ain't a thing. I can spot him from a mile away. Dun dun dun. Like I said, I can spot him from a mile away. Dun dun dun. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I have this VHS right here. But the games. Ooh, some Final Fantasies, some goodies, some Grand Theft. Some disc only stuff. Sometimes you can score on the disc only stuff. Should I? Should I? Should I? Just do it! Absolutely. For two bucks. Biker Mice from Mars, 1993. What if, Rickson, did you ever see the show, buddy? This is an awesome show. Biker Mice from Mars was like when they were making animals like Ninja Turtles and Cowboys of Moon Mesa and Biker Mice from Mars and human like animal shows. <laughs> My favorite pickup so far, we ran into these guys who watched the show. Thanks for watching, oh, guys. What up, dude? We appreciate it. But of course, right when I got in, they're like, where's Ricky? I was like, no love for me. Come on, Ricky. <laughs> Hold on. All right, I just saw this guy, and uh, I really was debating if I wanted him, and I told myself I'd pay 10 bucks. And I didn't know if he was legit or not, but then I saw the back, and he is Super Mario Galaxy. Sorry, it's a little blurry, but heck yeah. I'm gonna buy it. I told myself I'd pay 10, the guy said I'll do it. So, might be a little more than I wanted, but I'm happy. This is by far my favorite thing I've bought today. This thing is big. Super Mario Galaxy 2009. Mario, flying Mario from Mario. Look at that. that that's a happy Mario. This, I don't, this is my favorite thing today. I don't know why. I, I'm loving it. <sighs> it's a good day. It's a good day. Brixton, thanks for coming with me, dog. Yum, yum, yum. Ricky's here. Ricky. R Ricky. This Mikey right here. He's missing some stuff. He's pretty beat up, but he is huge. He's tall. He's 2002. I can get him for a few bucks. I'll do it. I like it. We ended up picking it up. Four bucks. Totally take it. It's the 12 inch. It's the large one. 2002 Playmate. Uh, yeah, it's beat up and it's scuffed up, but that's okay. Whoops. I'm just trying to walk behind it. I'm happy with it. Super happy with it. I love big figures. They look so good on shelves. They're like the way you want shelves to look. <laughs> Head, shoulders, knees, and butt. But. That's it for the swap meet. We'll show you guys what we got at the car. We'll do like a quick little pickup, and then I'll show you guys a little bit of my arcade game room, just to kind of get to get a peek at what's going on. Oh jeez, I almost dropped my phone. So I at the swap meet with my dad, me and him, we picked um I picked up this Demonator Demonator Zombie Strike gun and it has three, six, nine, twelve, more than twelve bullets and it costs um about forty forty-five and um I got it for five, so forty bucks off. <laughs> So for my pickups, in total today at the end of the day, I got Michelangelo, a 12-incher, for $4 from 2002. I got Home Alone on Laserdisc, a beautiful, beautiful movie. I got Eleven from Stranger Things. I got Will from Stranger Things. I was thinking last night that I needed Will. I did. I do need this Eleven though. I don't have this Eleven. I got those for 10 bucks. That's a great deal. Trust me. Probably my favorite thing of the day is this giant big Mario Galaxy uh, toy, this figure. Oh my gosh, look at moves too. It is official, I was so, so debating not getting it because I thought it was bootleg, but it's not bootleg. This is official. Rock Band 2 on the Wii and this classic controller for my Wii as well. One of my favorite controllers. I don't know why, a lot of people don't like these. I do love them. I think they're like 13 bucks normally too. And then my figures, my little figures I got was my Foot Clan, was my Splinter and oh! Biker Mice from Mars. These are awesome. So what a great day, especially for going late in the day when Ricky didn't call us. Ricky didn't even, oh, today was pretty good at swap me. I'm like, cool, thanks Ricky. You know I live a minute from you. <laughs> <laughs> we all know conspiracies are dumb. But first, huh? Oh boy. 
steak bowl. All right, remember this, th this is just like a little sneak peek because I, I don't want to film it all until it's all fully set up. This is where it's at now. It's, it's full functioning for sure, but it's not done. Here is what the outside looks like. We put a window in and we put shiplap all across the front, a steel door, added a little porch light too. So this was a dirty, old, ugly shed and now it actually looks pretty pretty. Let's go in. Here we go! So filming on my phone, it's gonna look really terrible in here with the lighting, but that's where we're at right now. I'll kind of show you guys some of the stuff just so you can kind of see a little closer what I have going on in each area. <laughs> on the left side, so far I have a few different hats. I have some of my toys. I really wanna stay away from knickknacks. I'm already going a little bit more to knickknacks than I would have liked, but I have some of my stuff here. There's some of it, Double Dare, some of my Stranger Things stuff. Oh yeah, I bought Stranger Things today to add more to that. Do need this 11 though, I don't have this 11. Uh, a few things here, some small soldiers, just some toys and whatnot. Over here next is a sign that Joe made for me. This sign, just this yellow part, used to be in our old game room and he was nice enough to put some amazing wood around it and even put a light to light this thing up. So that is awesome of him. Uh, threw some LED lights back there, like a ton of us do nowadays. Got a Ryu hanging up right here, by the way, on top of Rampage. Uh, I got Rampage and Pac-Man. I love these two, I love them a lot. Uh, they're really fun to play. Got the stands for them as well too. Uh, moving over to the right, uh, a little Nintendo sign that used to light up that I just broke yesterday when I was hanging up some shelves. It was completely my fault, I'm so bummed. Uh, a couple shelves again I threw up here. Kinda wanna stay away from a lot of knickknacks, but just brought in a few things in here that I kinda wanted to throw in. Some DuckTales stuff, some, some Halo stuff, my Ninja Turtles TV tray some random odds and ends, some VHSs that are bright and colorful, a few Dick Tracys, again, just some random stuff, some more VHS. Um, up here, when Sam did my arcade, he gave me the complete little die-cast collection of Street Fighter characters. I got my Street Fighter, originally Third Strike Cab, now with a retro pie in it, fully done by Sam. Uh, it looks amazing, it plays beautifully. I play this thing all the time. Next over here is some more Legos that Joe made me into some characters, awesome of him. Again, Joe, another sign that was originally in here, just the yellow part that Joe made into a beautiful light up sign. I got my 65 inch 4K TV right here, a TCL, a very cheap TV that does a really good job giving you 4K HDR. Uh, I got some of my Xbox One controllers down here on some beautiful stands that my buddy BP Retro made and they are awesome. I got them in an NES Pursuit. Uh, the only consoles I have completely hooked up and ready to go right now, yes, I have tons more than I'm gonna be hooking up, is my Xbox One X and an OG Xbox. These are hooked up and ready to go. I have a lot of OG Xbox games and original uh, Xbox games, Xbox One games out here, even some DVDs. My kids have been watching some DVDs out here, having some fun times kind of camping out in here. We've actually slept in here a few times. And lastly, my Street Fighter arcade one up, definitely the one that people go to whenever they come here. That's what people always want to seem to play. And uh, a little arcade sign that I got for really cheap off Amazon, which when the lights are out, all this, this thing, this room looks really good at night. Uh, I also got some of my, I just put my towels into there. No, I'm not a messy guy. I cover all this stuff with towels at nighttime, just so you guys know. Uh, a futon that I got and a chair that I got to give people some extra seating. So that's all that's in here for now. Again, I am not done in here. This is kind of my, my starter setup, but everything is fully functional, like I said. We play it all the time. We're in here all the time. Very happy with where we're at. All right, that's it. Again, sorry, this is all shot on my cell phone. This is an expansion pack. This isn't a mainline NES Pursuit, so everything doesn't look as nice as it would. I'll give you guys a full game room tour when I'm done, an arcade tour, when I got everything set up the way I want it, looking beautiful. But for now, I am out of here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Time to go enjoy the day. Uh... <laughs> Last thing before I go, I uh, forgot to say, I also got these the other day. Uh, the person didn't want me to say the price, but let's just say I got Super Mario World, Banjo-Kazooie, and Zelda, and Super Mario 64 for, um, let's say the price, let's just say it was under $10 for all. Oh, what a thing. <laughs>